This week I'm going to show you how to make risotto alla milanese. It's a risotto flavored with saffron, this wonderful orange earthy spice and it's the stamen of a crocus flower. And each one is picked individually, said to be the most expensive spice. So we start with a pot heated and we add some olive oil. And what I want to do is cook the onion until it's nice and soft. And with the onion, we're going to put some of the amazing saffron. We're cooking the onion just to soften it. We don't want any color. It's a very important part of risotto. Now we're going to add the rice. This is arborio rice. It's a special rice. It's short-grained, very starchy rice that is uh, used to make risotto. Stir the rice in with the onions and the oil. We want to coat it and start to heat the rice up before we add any of the liquid. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt at this stage. I'm going to add a cup of white wine. I've also got some porcini mushroom, dried porcini, which I always add to my risotto alla milanese. I'm going to put three pieces in there. This just adds a wonderful earthy uh, back note to the, to the risotto as well. So now we're going to start adding chicken stock. The chicken stock should be hot um, and we add it gradually. We want to add enough chicken stock at first to submerge the rice, but only just. As the rice cooks, it absorbs the liquid. And we want it to cook at a, just a gentle simmer. And as it absorbs the liquid, we add a little bit more, one ladle at a time. What happens is the starch from the rice forms this sauce that coats the rice. If you add too much liquid at once, you don't get this beautiful, luscious creaminess. So once the risotto is just at that perfect stage and it's just about done, we're going to add some nice big chunks of butter and some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to stir that in there. It's luscious, beautiful, aromatic risotto. We serve it just like this. Put some fresh Parmesan cheese grated all over the top like this. Thank you.